Does, is the line sentient? Can it talk to us? Ooh, can I photocopy my ass? <laughs> oh, I think it's, oh, it's out of paper. Never mind. <sighs> Next time. www.jorts.com Oh, the internet's broken! Oh well, if I can't explore my favourite website on the entire internet, I guess I better explore the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition in VR instead. That's right, Cornerinos, on this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner, I'm going to be checking out this flat screen to VR mod for Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe by marvellous modder Raikou Pata. Now, if the name Raikou Pata rings a bell for you, that is because I featured their Firewatch mod on this channel a while back. While it was still in development, it's now, I think, pretty much finished and uh, highly polished. But this, this mod here, still in the early, uh, early hours, uh, so there may be some bugs up ahead. But uh, we, don't, we don't mind a few bugs here, as long as we're checking out the future of gaming. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Uh -huh. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I like work. I just hate my boss. Aww. So I have played the original Stanley Parable back in the day, um, but it was so long ago that I could probably load it up and get that achievement for not playing the game for 10 years. The Ultra Deluxe version, though, has been updated and enhanced and, I guess, given new bits and bobs. I don't really know. Do you think I ever put any prep into these videos? Pff, if you do, you're sorely mistaken. Blaze it! Now, the controls for Stanley Parable are pretty simple. Uh, I think there's just, like, an interact button and that's about it. And I... Oh. I was going to say, I don't think there's too much you can interact with, but can I do any more? No, uh, no, just one input's in there. Maybe there's more of these around. Apart from that, moving around is just a case of using the thumbsticks on the motion controllers. Nice and simple. Username access. Oh, I broke it. Hey, this is like the computers that work got us to edit on. No, oh, I broke it again. So graphically, I don't think this game, or at least I don't remember this game, being too taxing. And it's running incredibly smoothly for me when stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left fuck you you don't tell me what to do i'm going in the door on my right this was not the correct way to the meeting room and stanley knew it perfectly well oops perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it sure sure i want to go in there that looks like a nice office whose office is this ah <sighs> Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It's it quite really pretty. Been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I'd rather drink one of these cold drinks. It's bloody boiling in this room. Hello. Well, but onwards then. He'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Wait. No one tells me what to do. That is an interesting looking room, though. Oh, all right. I'm going to go in here. What's in and here? And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Did he? Fuck it. See you later, maintenance room. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. No. -uh. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Sure. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh da, 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 da. Oh. from here, it's, um, left. Left? Okay, what? Hmm. I don't trust doors that open on their own. Is this game haunted? I can only go left, though. Oh, no. You, you no, shite. it's to the right, my mistake. Okay. You better not close on me, dick. No, Fire! no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. 
Good. Ooh, a truck. I'm beginning to regret going off the beaten track now. What the fuck? Whoa! No, 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 no. This isn't right oh. at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. Shit. This is all a spoiler. Is this the room Switch from the there, Matrix? Close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, My eyes are closed. Just back to, um... Uh, who am I kidding? What? It's all rubbish now. Oh. The whole story completely unusable. Oh, did I ruin the oh, game? Or... Rather than waste Whoops. my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Ah, and sure. This time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. What the? Oh. Okay. Well, we're back here then. Still can't get jorts.com to work. Disappointed. Okay. Let's just do what the game tells me to this time. Turns out... By going my own way, I break things. When Stanley, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? No, I'm... no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Hold on, why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. Yeah. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Well, hurry, I don't have all day. It's an adventure. Come, oh. Stanley, let's find the story. Okay, oh, now I get to choose. Now I get to choose out of every single door. I want this door. Can I? I want to go this way. Maybe if I go through here and left. Here we go. Look at that. You can't beat me with blockages. Okay. Well, inner guilt. Everyone knows what you did. They're just holding back to let you torture yourself. Why am I being drawn to this room? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? I don't think we... Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Nah, no, let's just push on, buddy. This. What? Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Are you... Oh, fuck! Oh, God damn it. I've completely what? screwed this game up. Gone. What could it mean? <sighs> okay, yep. It's what worse. the... I might be remembering this wrong. Oh. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. What? Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Well, the door's closed. Oh, it's it's open again. Oh, someone's made a right mess. How did I not spot? Oh, can we get up the ladder into the crawl space? That'd be cool. Uh, seems about the same. Aha. Oh. I knew we'd miss something. Oh. The story. Here oh. it comes. This isn't how real world corridors work. Ah. Oh, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. For fuck. Huh? Oh. Where's this? What the? Where are you taking me? Now this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. Yeah, this looks like something out of. Half-Life, Ravenholm. What supposed to be doing? How about this? What? You Don't... win! Hey! Shit, son! I'm the best at this game. In a lot of hard work, I and did. It really paid off. So, Thank you. Good job. You're welcome. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. I'd... Some people win fair and square, <sighs> and this was not one of those situations. Listen, if there's one thing I'm good at, mate, it's failing I'm upwards. So. Out by whatever this place is. Ooh. I don't care Whoa. what might happen this time. I have to restart. Oh, for far! Okay. All right, I've got a solution. Sounds this good. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure, Adventure line. line. Okay. Just follow the line. How simple is that? That's pretty simple. We're going to do this right now. We're following this line, and oh, I've never been this way before. Okay, this is new. All right, four three seven four B six. Okay, you four see, question the mark. Line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct Ooh, of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? I've okay. stopped understanding now, if and listening. the experience of your existence rests inside of hell? your subjective experience of this office, is this office in fact the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe. Hang on. That Whoa. got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Shit, son. Yeah, I love music. Hey, here we go. Following the line. Let 
da 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 Wow, this is much more fun than continually restarting. Monthly ledgers, corporate imbalances, consolidation reports, departmental accounts, Ooh, employee 432. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of peer reviews. Wait, cut the music. Go Why? Back and look at that fern. Uh, okay. Stanley. This fern will be very important later in the story. Really? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Okay. You won't want to miss anything. I am studying the shit out of it, mate. It's better pay off. Who painted this line? Picasso? Oh, there's a... Wait, what? We're back at the office? What? No. Wait, this no, is... No. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? Huh? The story... Is any of this ringing a bell? Is, is the line sentient? Can it talk to us? Ooh, can I photocopy my ass? <laughs> oh, I think it's... Oh, it's out of paper. Bollocks. Never mind. <sighs> Next time. Oh, oh, we're here again. No, no, not again. Did I complete the game again? To us. And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... No, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. What? Oh, fuck. I thought this was meant to be a game. It's broken. Have you fallen the line? Where's the you voice? Ah, oh, there he is. I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Not, well, it We're gave us a lovely tune. People, right? Why can't we make up our own story? I often Something make up my own story. Daring, mysterious. That sounds good. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. It does. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Ooh, a new direction. What's around here? Now, What's around yes, this here? is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. This does not seem to be the most um, exciting of corridors. Uh, it's a reality warping corridor that keeps folding in on itself, but uh, I could have done with a few, I don't know, pictures on the walls. Oh, Whoa. no, not you again, oh. Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. Okay. We should be fine. Just ignore the line. I'm just ignoring the line. I mean, it's totally. There's only this way to go, so I have to follow the line. But I'm not. Nah. All right, it's gone up. I'm not. I can't go up there. So. Oh. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Oh, I don't and like making decisions. In so much control. pressure. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Oh. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Yeah. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in sure. turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. I don't... So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? You lost me in the Since first the sentence. Clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Sure. Another victory for logic. Come, Great. Stanley, our destiny awaits. Hooray, I love destiny. Woo-woo. Oh. The uh... confusion ending. You're telling me... That's what this is. Stanley it's all guy. one giant it's... ending. Wait, what? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? But then I die. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? I don't want the game to keep restarting. Is this... I don't want to forget what's going on. Is this game having an existential I crisis? This. I won't restart. I have enough of them for myself. I won't do it. I won't do it. Good. I, won't do it. Good. <sighs> I guess now we just wait, you know. Yeah. Right. I suppose in some way Ooh. that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm yeah, not kinda. quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Oh, I can't spin the chair. Well, in the meantime... If you... What the fuck? What was that noise? What? I'm back here again. God dang it. The narrator better not have forgotten. Oh, shit. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Ah, there's no door. Oh, no, there is a door. Okay, I'm doing it the right way this time. When Stanley came to a set of two open yep, doors, left. he entered the door on his left. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing the left. I'm doing it. 
I'm just playing by the rules this time because if I go off the beaten track, I break the game and I get caught in stupid loops. Here we go, the meeting room. Yet nice. There was not a single person here either. Ow. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Sure. Everyone is unique, most of all you. I'm very unique because I don't seem to have a shadow. To do, synergize. Shift global market parade. Monetize free to play. Mm. Okay. Boss's office, huh? That's the room closet. Can I? Oh, fuck. I can. I didn't think I could open any doors in this game. Stanley oh, yeah. stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So oh. he turned around and got back on track. Oh. Okay, uh, boss's office. Coming to a staircase, up Stanley walked upstairs to upstairs. his boss's office. Wait, what the fuck? That looks scary and weird down there. I've no scary, scary and weird, or just break the game again. I'm sure. Oh, it looks scary and weird in here. Wow, no, it doesn't. It looks fancy as fuck. Whoa, what the fuck? Don't do that to a panda. Business strategy. Headshot a panda? That seems unethical somehow. Okay, this must be the boss's office because it's bloody Stepping massive. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. This one? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two... Eight, four, five. Oh, not boob then. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, well, you know, Stanley happened to input the, the correct code by sheer luck. Well, Amazing. it was he either two eight four five or boob. Newly opened passageway. Newly opened passageway. Huh? Whoa! So this is unexpected. Are we gonna find the rat man down here? Are we gonna? Find out that the cake is, in fact, a lie. This is dark. And oh, no, lights on. It's okay. Sending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Whoa. Well, I guess the lift is broken now. Where the hell are we now? We're really far underground. Stanley oh. walked straight ahead through the oh. large door that read Mind Control Facility. That seems dodgy. Escape. Well, I did say I was going to follow orders, but that's ominous AF. Let's escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, yes. the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh. Well, let's go back again then. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Yes, although, could it be a blag? I'm, mm. Nope, still on board with death. I'm not on board with, I'd just like to say I'm not on board with death, but surely this game is just trying to, it, there won't be death back here. It'll be fine. The door behind him was not shut. Yes. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Okay. I've gone too far now. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. That's correct. And willingly confront his death. No. Oh, fuck. This seems... Oh, is this really going to kill me? I've come so far. Oh, fuck it. Ah! Sturdy old legs there. That would have killed a normal person. Motion, Whoa. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. It reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Wait, what? Stanley can't see the bigger picture. Squishes. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Huh? Perhaps his death was of no great loss. Stop talking and tell me how to get out. Eyeballs from a blind man. So oh, he resigned and willingly accepted no, no, no. the end of his <laughs> brief and shallow ah, life. Please don't. Farewell, Stanley. Oh, fuck. That seems... This seems bad. 
Oh god, I can't do anything. Ah! Ooh, ooh. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, huh? cried the narrator, the as fuck? Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What the hell is... In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh god, is it gonna happen? Oh, fuck! Oh! I live! Wait, what the? What's this? Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game what? back in his office as alive as ever. Huh? What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Who are you? Who is the mystery voice? Wait, what the fuck is this out here? Uh. When oh. every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance. Oh, it's my office. This is the... The office layout. The beginning of the game. Stanley's computer. Still can't get jorts.com up and running. Ooh, solitaire. Oh, fuck. Okay, this seems like <laughs> the correct way. Oh, look at these two. What? How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How eh? they both wish to be free. Who are you? Will I die if I pull this? Let's find out, I guess. But listen to Whoa. me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before huh? they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. R as long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop huh? now and it'll be your only true choice. Really? Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Shit! <laughs> Wow, that wasn't as painful as I thought. That was over quite quickly. Huh, okay. Crushed to death is the way to go, folks. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <sighs> when Stanley came to a set of yep. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm just going to do everything I'm supposed to. I'm not going to bring about my own death. I'm not going to go exploring. I'm going to wander straight into the mind control room Stanley and it'll be fine. To go up to his boss's office, hoping Although, he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The red floor is enticing me slightly. Fuck. Oh, but Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. Yeah. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Well, All why because did he? he believed everyone had vanished. I mean, they quite His obviously boss have he vanished. Was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, Still no to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. It's true. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Shit. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Shit. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they Wait. simply repeating? Ah. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't Wait. be real. They are At repeating. Last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He I'm on just drugs. And found the words for it. I'm dreaming. Oh he yes, knows. obviously. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Sure. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Okay. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. I can feel it. I can feel the it. Fresh air of a world outside this one. Yeah, I can feel it. Let me wake up, he thought. Let me himself. wake up. I'm through with this dream. I, I wish, wish it, it to, to be over. over. Let me go back, back to, to my, my job. job. Let, Let me continue, continue pushing, pushing the buttons. buttons. Please. Please. It's, it's all, all I, I want. want. I want, I want my, my apartment, apartment and my, and my wife, wife and my, my job. job. All, All I, I want, want is my life exactly the way it's, it's always been. been. My, my life is normal. normal. I am normal. Everything, Everything will be fine. fine. I, I am, am okay. okay. 
Ah, oh, shit, I didn't wake up. Fuck. Stanley began screaming. Ah! Someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just I should have gone down the real. stairs. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? <laughs> I, I should have gone down the stairs. What? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and uh? went to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man I... who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. What? And then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Sensible. Fuck! What? I'm back. Oh, God damn it. Well, my friends. I'm back. All of his co-workers were gone. In the loop once mean? again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps he had. Uh, yeah, well, if you've ever played Stanley Parable before, you'll know that uh, there's plenty more endings and weird shit to discover. And um, I'm not going to spoil any more of that for you. I'm going to let you try this out for yourself if you have a VR headset. Um, and um, one... English pound to spare because you will need to sign up to Raikou Partners Patreon to get access to this link, uh, to the link to this uh, download. Uh, it costs one pound per month if you want to get the basic tier, and with that one pound, you can download this mod. You can download uh, the Firewatch mod that I did previously on Ian's VR Corner, and I think uh, there's a, a an in-progress mod for a game called... Uh, is it Shipbreakers? I don't know. It's called Shipbreaker. This game, obviously, not that taxing on the old computers, uh, and this mod runs incredibly well. There are a few graphical glitches here and there. Um, sometimes when I walk through doors, the visuals flicker a little bit. But in terms of controls, everything's nice and smooth. So I think anybody, anybody is going to be able to enjoy this one. Obviously, because it's a flat screen to VR mod, there are no comfort settings. So if free moving VR makes you feel a little bit whoop, you're going to have to uh, be careful about that because it's it's all free move. There's no click turn or blinders or anything. But yeah, it's really cool to be able to experience the weird wackiness of this game in virtual reality. Um, it feels almost like it was built for virtual reality. These kind of mind-warping experiences always work very well. So yeah, definitely uh, recommend this uh, little flat screen to VR mod. It's not completely finished yet, uh, but it is, um, you know, it's fully playable. That's a lot of screens there. You could uh, probably have one episode of Ian's VR Corner per each screen, considering I've made so many of them. And in fact, you can watch them all right now if you click on that playlist thing that is on screen right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy trying to find the freedom ending of Stanley Parable, because I sure as hell can't. Whoa, numbers. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. I bet I got fired already.